What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best soundbars, 2022, through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or it's particular use we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. 10th place. Bowers & Wilkins Panorama 3. We propose the Bowers & Wilkins Panorama 3 as a persuasive alternative to the Sonos Arc at a comparable price. It's a fantastic option. This stylish soundbar features 3.1.2 channels of cinematic sound, Dolby Atmos compatibility, and a variety of control choices, including a touch-sensitive screen on the bar itself. The Panorama 3 was absorbing, powerful, and dynamic in our tests, without compromising the natural and cohesive sound that Bowers is known for. The soundstage is broad and vast, but we felt the Dolby Atmos function might be more convincing, we didn't receive the same sensation of height that we would have had with Sennheiser's Ambio soundbar or a set of overhead speakers. Nonetheless, the Atmos performance makes the sound more three-dimensional, and the soundbar works equally well for music as it does for movies. You also have lots of connectivity choices including Spotify Connect, AirPlay 2, and Bluetooth, with Apps Adaptive. Unfortunately, there is no HDMI pass-through, but this is a minor annoyance for a soundbar with so many features. You'll be able to connect the Panorama 3 to a multi-room system using Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin, Formation, or other Panorama speakers, but this functionality will be available via a software update, so we won't be able to test it. Ninth place. LG S95QR. Technically, the LG S95QR is much more than a soundbar, with four distinct speaker units and a channel count that would shame most separate space systems. The 9.1.5 channel arrangement of the LG S95QR indicates a new innovation for LG's flagship soundbar, an upfiring center speaker. This pushes the same sound that comes out of a more typical forward-facing center speaker on the front of the soundbar upwards as well, in an attempt to make conversation feel more like it's coming from the people conversing on your screen. This soundbar was also created in collaboration with Meridian, a manufacturer of high-end speakers, and has a Meridian music mode that reconfigures stereo music to take use of more of the S95QR's channels. We discovered that the result is a real surround sound experience with a vast dynamic range and an amazingly comprehensive soundstage that creates movie soundtracks virtually all around you, including over your head, during our testing. In our review, we stated that this is, without a doubt, the greatest soundbar LG has ever produced, and that it is one of the most fulfilling home theater soundbars we've experienced from any company, period. The only significant drawback is the price. At £1,699, $1,499.99, $1,749, it's still amazing value for how impressive the sound is, but the Samsung HWQ930B at the top of this list offers a similar experience for a lot less. 8th place, Sonos Beam, Gen 2. The Sonos Beam, Gen 2, is the greatest soundbar you can get if you have limited space. Its small size allows it to easily fit beneath your TV, whether you set it on a TV stand or mount it to the wall, and its elegant style ensures it won't clash with your decor. It's small enough to operate with 32-inch TVs, almost, but it fits well with 40-inch to 50-inch TVs. It enhances the original Sonos Beam soundbar with virtual Dolby Atmos, HDMI eARC compatibility, and a new design. While it lacks the upfiring tweeters required for real Dolby Atmos, and hence lacks the sonic height of the Sonos Arc, the Sonos Beam, Gen 2, offers a broad soundstage and immersive audio experience. It's incredibly detailed, impressively dynamic for abruptly moving between loud and quiet, and works equally well with music as it does with movies. In reality, you can stream music to it through Wi-Fi, AirPlay 2 or Sonos own wireless system, and it functions as a smart speaker, it includes Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, you can choose which. 7th place. Samsung HWQ800A. Don't have room for back speakers and don't want to spend a fortune? The Samsung Q800A is an excellent bundle for having Dolby Atmos sound that you can really experience without breaking the bank. It's also not overly huge, we'd recommend it for TVs 48 inches and higher. We enjoy this soundbar because it features true upfiring drivers, which is one of the reasons we appreciate it so much. That implies it can give more believable Atmos height than soundbars without upfiring speakers, and we discovered a good and broad horizontal sound stage as well. With the addition of some surprisingly meaty bass, you've got the ultimate home entertainment experience without the need to overwhelm your space with gear. There are some tips for new Samsung TV users as well, 
you may combine it with the sound optimization capabilities of the new Q70A or higher Samsung TVs to achieve even larger and clearer sound. Don't worry if you don't have those TVs, we believe the Q800A is more than enough on its own. It delivers room-filling sound that is very immersive. It's accurate, forceful, and dynamic enough to make you experience the full force of each of its 3.1.2 channels. As an extra benefit, if you decide to upgrade, you may add wireless back speakers later. 6th place. Samsung HWQ990B. The Samsung HWQ990B is a high-end Dolby Atmos soundbar system from Samsung's 2022 lineup that is simply an enhanced version of the Samsung HWQ950A mentioned above. It, like the HWQ950A, provides 11.1.4 channels of audio that it directs around and above, via a soundbar, subwoofer, and two wireless rear speaker units. However, it has improved on the prior model. A new acoustic lens on the subwoofer helps to better diffuse the sound around the room. The rear speakers have been redesigned to help the precision of the upfiring drivers. There is now space fit automatic room compensation to help maintain detail in the sound as it reflects around, and the sound has been tweaked and re-engineered in general. Sabatier manufactures the chopping blades to fit various bowls, thus they are of knife grade. The blender mix attachment moves the food in the bowl to improve blending and generate a creamy, blender-like texture. The dough blade kneads and mixes dough, even thick bread dough. The whisk, like a stand mixer, can whip cream and beat egg whites. Also included are a citrus juicer, 2 and 4 mm grating and slicing discs, and 2 and 4 mm slicing discs. The juicer was the most exciting feature for our tester, who was able to swiftly juice half a grapefruit down to the rind in a few seconds. The storage container, which also includes a unique spatula for fast cleanup, can hold all of the blades and accessories. Download the free Magimix app, which has hundreds of recipes, to make the most of the equipment. Fifth place. Bose Smart Soundbar 600. If you're searching for a cheap soundbar that can truly perform, the Bose Smart Soundbar 600 is an excellent choice. It produces large amounts of Dolby Atmos sound in a tiny size. With dimensions of 27 inches wide by 2 inches high by 4 inches deep, it's a reasonably sleek and tiny design for an all-in-one gadget that's ideal for smaller houses or screens. During our testing, we notice that the conversation clarity is good, and while it doesn't reach the low bass notes that other soundbar systems with a built-in subwoofer do, it delivers constantly engaging sound when watching movies and TV. There's plenty more to enjoy here as well. Onboard streaming options, such as AirPlay 2 and Chromecast, are abundant, app-based setup is simple, and everything is housed in an appealing all-in-one physical factor. This soundbar wowed us throughout testing, and its low price makes it a good buy. Fourth place, Sonos Ray. Sonos excels at both ends of the price spectrum with the Ray, its smallest and most affordable soundbar. We tested it with a midrange Sony set from a few years ago, and the dialogue was crisper, movie soundtracks had more life and drama, and it even delivered a reasonable amount of bass for dramatic explosions in action movies. There is no competition when compared to the built-in speakers of the 32-50-inch to 50 inch TVs it is marketed for, it is a big upgrade. Sonos Ray, its smallest and most affordable soundbar, impresses at both ends of the price spectrum. We tested it with a midrange Sony set from a few years ago, and the conversation was crisper, movie soundtracks had more life and drama, and it even offers a reasonable amount of bass for powerful explosions in action movies. There is no competition when compared to the built-in speakers of the 32-50-inch to 50 inch TVs it is marketed at, it is a significant upgrade. One thing to keep in mind is that it only has an optical digital connection and does not support HDMI ARC. This means it may need to learn the signals from your remote control before it works, but Sonos has made that part of the setup process, so it's virtually flawless. Third place. Sonos Arc. Sonos has packed a whole surround sound system inside its Arc soundbar. It's not cheap, but if you're already a Sonos fan, we believe you'll adore how this soundbar offers extremely amazing surround sound. We also loved how easy it was to set up, which only required a handful of clicks on the smartphone app, and how simple it is to connect to other Sonos speakers. The simple cable connections and all-in-one system architecture contribute to the no-fuss sensation and streamlined look, making it the greatest single-unit Dolby Atmos soundbar available. Second place. Sony Height G700. We believe the Sony Height G700 achieves a fantastic sweet spot in terms of features, affordability, and sound scale. It's a soundbar and wireless subwoofer combo, and the soundbar is suitable for TVs with a screen size of 48 inches or more. As we've come to expect from Sony, this soundbar is more than simply stereo, as fantastic as that is. 
It supports both the Dolby Atmos and DTS-X Elite surround sound formats, which is not guaranteed in even more expensive soundbars, and Sony employs its excellent sound processing and acoustic wizardry to create a true wall of sound that extends far beyond the limits of your TV screen, but with convincing positioning and direction of specific sounds. It's not quite as good as the Sonos, but it's certainly competitive. Sony, on the other hand, hasn't forgotten about the fundamentals. The subwoofer adds depth to the bass that a Sonos Art can't match on its own, and speech is crystal clear even in frenetic action soundtracks, even without the speech boosting option switched on. Downsides? Because there are no dedicated upfiring channels, we found the Atmos performance to be a touch weak when compared to our Sony AV Amps dedicated Atmos speakers. And, if we're being fussy, we'd say it's somewhat less dynamic for abrupt explosions and swelling soundtracks than the Sonos Arc or Samsung HWQ800A, but it's a lot cheaper. So it's the most cinematic experience you can get for the money. First place. Samsung HWQ930B. The HDMI loop-through supports HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision HDR formats, as well as 4K quality at up to 60Hz frame rates. There is no support for the 4K 120Hz or variable refresh rate, VRR, capabilities presently offered by the PS5, Xbox Series 10, or high-ish end PCs, but practically all other contemporary soundbars do as well. The soundbar also supports Q-Symphony and Samsung TVs that enable it, intelligently matching its speakers with those of the TV to produce a larger soundstage. This soundbar isn't great for music, but it's fantastic for home theater. It's the most immersive sub-four-figure soundbar we've ever heard. That's a bold statement given how excellent the top-tier Q990B was, but the savings here will be well-matched for most individuals seeking for an epic surround system with minimal sacrifice. If you enjoy watching movies, this is the greatest soundbar for the money. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later guys.